Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokemon here. Today we have another Pokemon Sword and Shield Showdown Live. We're going to be using Sock, the counter to OU, because that's a play on words, because it has counter and sturdy and heavy duty boots, because it is Adam Russell's birthday. And I said, for Adam Russell's birthday, I'll be using Sock. Actually, I didn't say that, but, well, I mean, I did say that, but he asked, and I was like, okay, cool. So shout out to Cyrus for this team. If you guys want this team, uh, you can go to my website, PokeMD.com. Thank you everybody for all the support, seriously, on all the videos that I've been doing. Uh, the comments, the likes, all that stuff. It's first off, it's helping me out because uh, some people seem to think that because more people are home, we're doing great as YouTubers. That's not the case. Not only do we have to deal with the YouTube algorithm not pushing us out, which is fair. I mean, that's how it works. Um, damn, I fought this twice in Blunder's video. But but we also have to deal with the fact that um, uh, the the companies are not paying for ads right now, so uh, it's a lot harder to actually you know survive uh, because everything is worth like so much more so like the comments likes all your support i really do appreciate it it helps me finesse the algorithm and it helps me in general but uh yeah so i'm gonna go silent toad early uh this is banded extra drill plus gravity um which is a very scary thing but i do have sturdy sock so we're knock off here because this deals with one of two things it uh deals with the smooth rock but it also gets hattering if they want to come into that uh, i'm very weak to hattering but they're very weak to age slash so Hey, I'm pretty sure Specs still murders you, so I'm just gonna go for it uh, as they go with Pout on, which has an eject button if I'm not mistaken. But <laughs> I did so much either way, not bad. And uh, they could Rock Slide here. Uh, Rotom is actually useful because Nasty Plot Rotom can beat everything besides Gigalith. I want to save my Shadow Sneak on this too. You know, I'll go Size and Toad because honestly, like at this point, yeah, I would Rock Slide as well because it hits Hydreigon and Rotom as a switching and. Um, Earth power is safe. Age slash is a relatively free double because I resist the move. It took me a second to get that, but age slash is a relatively free double, and now I get to click Shadow Ball again, and I'm getting good position. And the really good thing about this is if that's physically defensive, Feral Thorn, it will be two AK would and uh, that's just really limiting their hazards. Ooh, oh, I'll take this as well. Go ahead. Oh, and I got a Spadef drop too. That's nasty. Yo, my sock is about to go in. Close combat. Close combat. Poison job. I'll click it again. Shoot, you can kill me if you want. Nope, they click Stealth Rock, which means they're going to be forced to sack two Pokemon to keep Gigalith alive. And uh, all that to not even get up gravity. So this guy's getting messed up by Aegislash. Excadero comes out. Uh, Rotom destroys them still, but I'm going to go right out to it because I'm going to click. If I'm them, I click Iron Head or I click the, uh, the Earthquake there. And I think I just click Nasty Plot because if they go Dragapult and Dragon Dance. I do enough with this to knock him out with Shadow Sneak. Or if they Dragon Darts immediately, which apparently is Life Orb, knocks me out, but then they lose to me clicking Dark Bull. So it's a win-win at this point with me going Hydreigon. So I was, I was fine with that, like I said, because uh, Feral Thorn's at 46, and this Mon is very strong. Go ahead and give me your sin. And they're Adamant Excadrill as well, which is something I know for a fact. So my, uh, oof. My, first off, they're not going to have Sand for that long, much longer. And secondly, my sock is about to win this game, especially because they gave me the Iron Barbs user. Perfect. Ooh, and they gotta go Gigalith after to revenge me? Hey, I don't even care about this, man. I go out to Clef and I click Broken Teleport, right out into Age Slash we go. Click that Spec Shadow Ball, pick up my KO. I just wanna make sure uh, San is gone, but yeah, as long as he cannot set up with me on Dragapult, I win the game. And Shadow Ball is going to pick up a KO here, too. And because he has no gravity, he's always going to be forced to Iron Head. Ooh, I cannot wait for Sock to come through and just win me this game. Let's go, baby. I go ahead and Iron Head on my size and toe, which is absolutely nothing on this game. Oh, you click Earthquake? Hmm. Hydreigon's HP shouldn't matter. Oh, that's, that's fine, too. Yeah, my eight, oh, the sand is going down, baby. The sand is going down. Let's go. Sand does not end this turn because I don't know if what their item was on Gigalith. I think it was the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The Smooth Rock. And all I got to do is stay in here. Come on, don't give me this Pokemon. All I got to do is stay in here to make sure that they don't uh, set up with their Dragon Pult. But I didn't even get to bring in Sock in that game, which is very unfortunate, man. We're going to do it, though. Don't worry. We're going to counter somebody there. I just played really well with my uh, Age Slash, which they had no answers to anyway. Um, and I saw that. Okay, this this guy. 
has answers to Age Slash. And I don't have Spec Securomancers, but they're very weak to Rotom if I Toxic and knock off, so I'm really happy with that. Unfortunately, I have Wish Plastic Fable into you. Um, I kind of like Early Sock to knock them a little bit. It's a tough game. I'm going to have to play H Slash immaculately, but I'm going to go Sock. Uh, main reason is I don't think its HP is going to matter in this. Uh, and I can just knock as they go Pex. Uh, knocking Pex is still definitely worth it. Uh, if they get up a T Spike, that's unfortunate. I can't do much, but Knocking Pex is definitely worth it. So. I can smack them with Age Slash, but we'll go Clefable here, and we'll just teleport around. Uh, at least that means Clefable can't be like Thunder Waved or, or Frozen or anything, which I think is very solid. And then we just teleport as they go Jirachi. And this will allow uh, this bad boy in for me to Nasty Plot. Unless there's Specs. Oh, they're toxic. Hmm. I want to flash. I can't even flash cam them. This is going to be tough. I'm going to ask about once more. As they are sub toxic. What generation am I in? Yo, I just lost. I lose to this. I, I don't see how I beat this. <laughs> Yo, you know what? I'll take my L. Basically, the plan was to do as much damage as Seism Toad. So, um,. I can get in sock and just start clicking, but I don't even have Earthquake for that. Oh, this, 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 this mod just wins. I guess I can go AG and try and click Shadow Ball, but... Them having Manda Buzz... Yo, this is, the, this is the throwback, man. Gen 4, oof. I used to love this set, too. Fire Punch destroys me. I Shadow Ball once because I would sub if I were them. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's it. Uh, if I, if I dark, if I, na if I was nasty plot, I won the game on the spot, literally right here, but I'm not. Yeah, nasty plot, Draco just won. Which is CC. Into Pax, and I can't even do much damage from there. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole sick, so I can't even, like, damn, sub top. Now that makes me want to use that again. I'm surprised, that doesn't actually beat Melmetal, because that, it busts through. Uh, throw them into. I'm not gonna give up. I can get like very lucky with wishes. I'm still going for issue. I don't care. Go for your sub. Like I ain't going hard. Wrote them. I will stall you and I will stall this out too. I'm not gonna give up yet. Rocks help me pressure cure them. Suppose I go for one discharge here. 20. Yeah, no, they got me. Good game. That, they got me. I don't know. <laughs> that was it. That Rachi smacked me. Ooh, good laid. I feel like I use this team. Uh, Age Slash is beautiful. Because Flash Cannon is nasty in this besides Corviknight. Uh, Sock is really cool in this too. Because it's going to be able to click counter on that Galade. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. It's also going to be able to beat Bisharp. Um, it's actually just very strong in general here. Uh, they could be Leaf Blade, legitimately Leaf Blade on, on Gallade to open up Size and Toad for Zero Aura, but then again, Bandit or Life Orb just does a lot too versus me. Like, very, very much. Age Slash has just such a phenomenal lead from the start with just Flash Cannon and whatnot, and if they go off, I don't want to end this. I could also just go Sock and click Close Combat, but I don't know their, their combo set. I, I, you know what? Let me see if I can use Sock and get a, a counter off. I'm going to close combat first, and then I'm going to counter. If they're offensive, like this might be a speed tie, and if they go for clanging scales, uh, I'll 2 it. Oh, they're max defense. Hell yeah, they are. Oh, that's that's fine. That's fine by me. You know what? Shoot. Give me this mod. That opens up Age Slash for sure. I mean, it's already in range of Age Slash now, but I want them to give me Corviknight, personally. Should I knock here? But I want to keep my sturdy. Ah, I'm not going to predict. I'm not going to bother predicting Clef. Clef, especially because I have base 125 attack, so... And maybe I'll do enough. Let's try it. Because instead of using this to... Uh, oh, Rotom is looking good too. Poison doesn't matter at all. But they teleport out of there, which is great. Because I keep my focus sash. 
Well, my counter attack, and I can counter the Zero Aura too if it comes out. Oh, and I will. Or if they go Corviknight and I counter that, I just click, get to click Flash Cannon. I know they have Bishop and Zero Aura, but they're not Pokemon that really take hits uh, so well. And Hydreigon is just looking so good too with Clefable being low. I love it. Yo, let's go. Oh, y'all ready for this? Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Come on. And there it is. There it is. Go ahead and give me your fastest Pokemon. Out of my sight. Out of Yo, this guy is actually faster than everything on their team too. Which is so funny. That is actually so funny. Let's go. Alright, Como's in Ranger. Rotom. Look at Rotom. Look at their team. Look at Discharge. Como dies to plus two. Sock put in some work. That's it. That's what I need after that 6-0. I had some really, like, really bad news happen to me. Um today it was very sad but well i mean it was just like like uh so i had been uh, scammed if you guys didn't know and um do i want to let them u-turn should i keep this alive you know what let me, let me get some damage and uh, i hit up chase banks to help me it was so stupid that i got scammed man i, I felt like jam bad like, like are you serious like come on there's a computer let me use it but like yeah it was, it was really bad um and you know, the, uh, I went size until because I can knock, by the way, which I think will allow me to beat uh, Clefable as well. Uh, but even if I don't beat Clefable, that's fine too. But I feel like I will be able to. <laughs> well, if I had knock Earthquake, actually, I should make this Earthquake over Earth Power. But then again, th these mons get burnt, though. I'll knock off again as they go Clef. I don't know if this does 21. I'm going to hope it does. Uh, Earth Power actually might have been the better play, but even if Clef wishes it's going to protect next turn, and then I bring out my Age Slash, oh, they just die. So, hey, hey, the play ended up working out anyway, and now this is a Pokemon that they do not deal with very well. They go Corviknight, I knock that as well. I can even get up Rocks if I want to, they're not actually necessary, and Hydreigon wins like I was planning. So, you know, I punched some holes, but my boy Sock, I love it. Uh... No. Mm. Should I make it so I have to fire black? No, let me let me ignore this mod completely. Oh, that's banded too. Oh, that's life orb? Okay, no, cool, no problem, no problem. Get my rocks up. Dark pulse about to be free as hell. Hmm. I just want to make sure I don't lose the Bishop, but I don't think anything uh, gives it a point, uh, a way of beating me. So I'm just going to, I'm going to power here. Um... But yeah, it was, it was a lot like to hear what I did, but to hear what I what happened, like when I got that message in my Chase account, I was like, oh come on, right, whatever though, I'll do my best. I really felt like Jamad when that happened though. Uh, the Mon that wins right now should be Rotom. Uh, you're minus two. Even if Discharge doesn't kill him, Fire Blast nukes the rest. I, I just don't like that. I have to make it. Fire. I don't think I had to do this, but I was thinking like, what's the better play? Eh, let me just overheat. Because I don't think body press... I'll boost again. But I don't think body press into... The, the main reason I'm like... Even though I'm playing my Rotom, like, I guess, quote-unquote poorly. Um, is because uh, Corviknight will always lose to this Age Slash set. Um, and if I boost, it's fine either way. Because I'll be able to uh, not allow Bishop to set up on me. Get my, get my thing back. Okay. Hey, you know what? Let me go ahead and get another plus two. I did nothing. Let me just discharge here. Uh, I'm just trying not to make it that Hydreigon has to hit uh, multiple Fire Blast if possible. Like, if he goes Gallade right now, I might just nuke it with Overheat after the uh, Stealth Rock, which I think I will. I definitely knock out Corviknight. And if he goes Bishop, I'm clicking uh, Discharge. Because Discharge will allow me to click Dark Pulse, I think, to win, if I'm not mistaken. I also have Shadow Single and H Slide. Like, I. I I have so much going for me right now. Clefable is actually useless. Like, literally useless. But the only thing that Clefable can do is it can potentially give Bisharp a boost with Moonblast. So I don't want to click it ever. Which is why if I go uh, Clefable, I would just... Does it actually kill? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that doesn't matter. If I went Clefable, I would always um, click Teleport. Because I don't want a Moonblast. Gallade comes out. Keep you alive so I can do exactly what I just said. Did some damage. 
I'm going to teleport. I want you to take two drops. That way I can discharge into dark poles and like sneak and everything like that. Goodbye. <laughs> Again, I'm just trying to put him in range of Rotom without having to uh, to actively predict. So, uh, that's why I click close combat here. Because it should still kill Gallade. And it doesn't let Bisharp set up. They didn't click knockoff because they wanted Bisharp to be able to set up on like a spec set. And I didn't click Shadow Sneak because I didn't want Bisharp to set up. So, yeah. Basically, this says, hey, Bisharp. So, this gives me the multiple, multiple chances to hit Overheat as well as Fire Blast. Because he has to attack me here. Yep. Click overheat. If we miss, uh, I got fire blast in the back with high dragon. If hey, good game. Nice. So, hey, sock put in some massive work there, and that's what matters. After that unfortunate six zero, and right here, okay, okay, this is gonna be the the greatest one because I mean I'm probably gonna lose the cloister, but this one's gonna be fire. First off, I love this team, uh, but this one's gonna be fire. Because I, uh... Why am I so weak to this one? <laughs> because again, that, that's, uh, that sock is going to do his thing. I don't care if I lose. I am so weak to drill. I'll have to use you for Bisharp. There's a Dark Pulse here. I mean, it's my best play. Uh, it'll 2 a KO drill, and if I get the uh, flinch, then... Yeah, we don't even have to think about that Pokemon. So that's perfect. So we don't deal with rocks. We don't deal with drill. I got the literal best turn one. Like the actual best turn one. Bisharp come out. I mean, there's a reason why I have Size and Totem, though I'm pretty sure it might die. He clicks uh, the wrong move there. I'm actually going to click Greedy Rocks because of Cloyster uh, being such a threat. Like, I know he's going to get up the Veil. But basically, by clicking Rocks... Um, oh, the hell is annoying. But I'm going to beat that Lucha! I swear I'll beat that Lucha. I can go Clefable and just teleport around. If they go for Hypnosis, I, I will I will simply switch. Uh, if they go for Veil right now, they're actually wasting turns of Hail, which is very important. That's very important for me. And we'll simply switch here. We'll teleport. Because in order to beat Zero R, I need Hydreigon. In order to beat this, I overheat. Uh, Bishop lives. So the way I've actually played this is... Um, because they should probably try and go for a Zero Aura win or a Cloyster win. Huh. No, I think if I discharge Cloyster, it still dies to Aegislash. Oh, I didn't want to crit Nine Tails. I wanted to waste more turns. I mean, I could also paralyze Cloyster too. I mean, if they go Cloyster, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm going for discharge. But I'm hoping that'll be enough to where because uh, if Aegislash doesn't get flinched, then I don't lose to that mod anyway. And this is Sock. It's gonna counter. It's gonna counter that Halucha. That's exactly what I needed to do. I needed to counter Halucha. Zero Aura comes out. We go route to Seismitote, and we just click Earth Power here. If they close combat me. They'll die anyway. Uh, we're wasting turns of veil, which is again very, very important. Very important. And I will Toxic them. Uh, they're not usually sub. I don't have Scald anyway. But I'll Toxic them because I can go Sock. And I can click Counter. Oh, and the Veil is going to be gone. It's so good. Oh, this is so good. Go ahead and Sky Attack. You actually landed. I'm impressed. Let's go. Hey, Nice sturdy. Bop him right back. And then Hydreigon just wins the game. And everything they go to, I just stand and click close combat. I drink on just wins. Well, I mean, I guess this I don't have to stand and click close combat. I could just go Clefable and click teleport. Teleport. Just to make sure Bishop doesn't stay in. I don't care about bulk up and all that crap. Just go for U turn here. And uh, just again, to make sure that Bisharp can never come in, we just sack this. I didn't want to go Cleft there because I figured they would go for that. Rotom comes out now. Rotom can discharge and outspeed and kill uh, Cloyster. Even if it's Focus Sash, I have the Stealth Rock up. Uh, of course, I, I did get a very lucky uh, turn one flinch. Like, I'm not going to undermine that. But 
It's overheat. And I think Cloyster still dies, and even if it doesn't, Shadow Sneak knocks it out. For sure. Even though I'm modest and everything, but Cloyster has no special defense, and it's gonna have less defense here too, yeah. Like I said, Shadow Sneak for sure knocks it out. So we just discharge here as they're gonna Rock Blast. Uh, let me... You know what? Let me let me make it like I don't want I don't want them to lose and be mad at me because that happens. Yeah, I'm gonna make it so that did not matter at all. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it so that play didn't matter. Like I know I win the game, right? So I'm gonna make it so that doesn't matter. That's it. Yeah, they knew. <laughs> they knew. They knew. But uh, yeah, I just I just I don't typically care about that. But I'm not trying to see like oh man, Joy, you hacks. Blah blah blah. blah. But, uh, yeah. Let me, uh, we got Sock to do two things. Two counters at once. Being Lucha. I mean, I got lucky in that for sure with the, the flinch turn one and the, the overheat, uh, crit on nine cells. I didn't want the overheat crit. I wanted to waste more turns of veil. It ended up not really mattering. Oh, this is a tough one, too. This is a tough one. H slash has to go in in this, though, because they have no shadow ball immunity, which is the best thing ever. Uh, that, because of that, I want to lead H slash and just click spec shadow ball because it kills Conk Elder um, from full. And again, they just have no switch-ins. Uh, they could have Grass Nut on this. I mean, Togekiss is very scary, but I do have Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat is actually phenomenal in this game too because he gets multiple. Hey, have fun. It gets uh, multiple opportunities to, I already did that twice, uh, to kill Pokemon. Um, if Toxpex is knockoff, that's worse for me, I think. Hey, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. But yeah, thank you. I really do appreciate that. I don't. I always say I start the timer and then feel like I'm rude, but I don't think so. I don't think that's rude. Toxic should always be special uh, physical as well. So they go hippo lead. Um, not the worst for me. Uh, I do like Sizem here because I, I like the uh, the greedy rocks. Sizem does allow in greedy rocks. Yeah, Sizem does allow in uh, Conkelder, but the thing about Conkelder is that. It It's not like my clef is useless. I'm gonna knock off first. Just see how they react to this. We get rid of black sludge. Perfect. So I get up rocks. Uh, they can toxic all they want. Cause I can always go clefable and just teleport and they do have knockoff, okay. Well that's actually uh, a little bit annoying. That's actually a little bit annoying. I'm gonna make it so uh, I don't want them to, because I would definitely toxic if I was them. I would go zero. I'm surprised they they chose to uh, toxic size and toad instead of knocking it. I feel like knocking would be a better. But what I'm trying to do is just get around uh, this mon, I guess you could say. I'll go Rotom because if they the earthquake meet, it's better. And ha ah, no! Oh man, that sucks. Okay. That sucks. I wanted to keep that for drill, and, or maybe I can kill Hippo. Let me see if I can counter here. That did not work. I'm embarrassed about that turn. <laughs> I need them to get an AG. There's no point protecting, but like, because they're just going to phase me. Can you get an Aegis Slash, please? Okay, Hydreigon's good too, I guess. I'll drop a Draco here. I kill Hippowdon. I know they have Togekiss as a switch in, and it's a good switch in at that. But I kill Hippowdon, which means the extra drill isn't faster than. That sucks! Why'd you get suck? That did so much damage. What the hell? That did so much. Oh, I get to wish up immediately as well because Hippowdon is low. I'm not protecting because, again, if they whirlwind, I don't get the benefits of protect. I don't get the benefits of my, of my thing, so. Um. Rotom is always a switch in. Rotom is always a switch in. Right, rinse, repeat, you know? A nasty plot once, just because it deals with packs if they want to go into it on an overheat. I know I, what I'm trying to get them to do is to get me into my, my boy uh, Age Slash. I can get a kill. That's all I want. But also, if I nasty plot, I kill like every mod on their team. So uh, I want to say Kong Kelder dies. If it does, this is my play to overheat. Yeah, 
And if you're max HP, I still kill 100% min. Let's go. Please land. Rotom, I need you. We also know that their Toxic Specs is not special defensive at all. Because they took 55% for Draco. So, yeah, that's fine, bro. Right out to Clef we go, and I come back in on Impaladon, so I don't really care. Again, the only percentage they're doing to me is, like, I'm going to kill something with Shadow Ball. I'm just waiting for the position for it. I'm waiting for the position for Shadow Ball. And I will do this just so I can slack off later. I'm, I'm, I know it's a, like a little bit of a drawn out battle where much doesn't happen, but I'm just waiting for that one position. Which is right now. Swords Dance, Earthquake. Okay, they gave me, they gave me Hippo. And, oh, they are Spadef Hippo. That doesn't matter. I'll just pain split here. Because they have way more HP than me. Come on, just phase me out into Aegislat. Or like, I guess Size and Toe would be good here too. Suck. Alright, we'll do some damage. <laughs> oh, that did so much. Let's go, baby. Easiest nasty plot of my life on the Toxabex too. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know you wouldn't sack that month. Woo! That was not Spadef at all. So he gave her to Pex, which means... I mean, I'm going to win this game with H-Lash, but... Uh, I think Roto might win the game on its own, too. <laughs> Let's go, Roto. That's because I just overheat safely. Con Counter dies. Hippowdon dies. Togus dies. Did you buy a close comp in me? I guess that makes sense for, for this thing to beat me, huh? Okay, I'll go you on that and just click uh, spam Moonblast. As long as I don't let extra uh, rabbit spin, it shouldn't be able to beat me. And again, I think I'll die first before they do. Yep. Perfect. I believe U-turn does this much. I should probably calc before I do something crazy. U-turn out into uh, Zero Aura. Oh, you bulk up. Hey. U-turn. 22 man. Let's go. Why is it insect plate? Damn. Does not do. They do not do. Oh, and I'm glad they gave me Hippo there. So they're going to go drill. Um... Maybe SD. I'm going to Dark Pulse because if they SD, I can lose the game. And now I put them in range of Shadow Sneak, I believe. Possibly. I don't think I need Size and Toad in this game. If they Earthquake, they're a great play. But because they didn't and they went for that, they take two Life Orbits, which definitely puts them in range of Shadow Sneak. Ooh, or they just die to Size and Toad as I died too. Nice. That's actually really good that we both died. That's a really dark thing to say, huh? I'm gonna go Age Slash because they should go Con Kelder. And I'm sorry, my friend, but Specs Flash Cannon is a kill from almost full. Yep. Toa Kiss comes out. All I gotta do is make sure that Sock can come in and revenge kill it very safely, or that Rotom can do the exact same thing. I give him that kill. I go out to Sock. I click that poison jab. I take that kill. Sock is actually countering. Oh, that was really embarrassing with the Apato. Hey, good game. That counter on Hippo was embarrassing. I spelled embarrassing wrong. Me not being able to spell is also. Is it double S? <laughs> I hate. <laughs> uh, GG. Hey, that was fun. That was fun. That was hella embarrassing, man. Oh my god. I don't even care about the 6 0. Like, I don't know why. Uh, like, if. Um, Rodon would have had to boot work overtime there. But this is still a really fun live. Adam, bro, I hope you had a good birthday. Um, I know quarantine, everybody's stuck inside. And uh, it might not be the most fun for most people. My life didn't change too much. My wife just home, and we got a puppy. Never mind, I changed a lot. But uh, it's been. It, it has been what it's been. And, you know, we can't even talk. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I just realized why I can't spell embarrassing. Or why I spelled it wrong the first time. Because I always shorthand the hell out of it when I type on my phone. I do the same thing with like words like then and then. Because I don't feel like thinking. Even if it's like instant that I should know. Uh, but 
Yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great birthday. Sock actually, you know, countering the OU tier. And uh, you saw in a couple of games. You saw a 6 0. That's it. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Stay safe. I'll see y'all next time. Leave a like, leave a comment. They all help me out. Maybe I'll see y'all on stream later today. Goodbye, my friends.